Hello and welcome back to a casual round. Played by myself, John Allen and Jessica Allen, with the memories of the front nine fresh in our minds. We're now back on the back nine. Still in Leicester, Massachusetts, still at Maple Hill. Let's go. Hole 10. Here we are. Par 3. 384 feet. Way uphill, obviously. We did not play at 384 feet. We got confused by the T signs. We are at a shorter T. It's more like 315. Apologies. John up first. A little bit of a yank, I think. Uh, I don't think he meant to go over there. Hit some trees. And I'm trying to go over the trees. Yes, and I hit the top <laughs> right there. Inside of it, so it was a miss all around. A little early, but it's fine. Yeah. So I could do it. Mine was the biggest. Go. That was a great toss. Okay, so John fell back here behind some Christmas trees. Uh, he had a pretty ugly look. And I feel like he you're about to see him do about as good as he could do from there. I hit the tree, I got pretty lucky compared to John. I'm just like, obviously, just right here. Nothing in my way. Shorty. <laughs> oh, I didn't even care. I don't think it would have been possible. Number 384. Yeah. Big wind coming in our face on hole 11. This one is 782 feet. We did play it from the gold tee, so this is for real this time. It's a par 4. And that won't be enough strokes for us. <laughs> uh, especially with uh, the wind. It's just really murdering us out here. But yeah, throw it really far over the field and then through these trees. It looks straightforward, but... I throw my Zeus here. Uh, we're going to lose it in the sky a bit, but Hello. it turns way over. I mean, the wind is just... <laughs> goes way to the right. I don't know. Kind of surprising. I don't think it's getting any better, so... Now John goes Excalibur, which turns a little bit. It goes very straight, so give you an idea of the wind, I think. this disc. Oh boy. 
silver lining. It smells great in here. I just found it so quickly. That's amazing. Look at this. Fucking right there. Hello! You found it? It's right here. Yay. Wow. Okay, update. I've thrown. No idea where I was going. Verdict? Was it good? I had two big trees in front of me, so I had like no hope. Yeah, we going to gold? Okay, here you go. Yeah, <laughs> another full drive. I think that's going to be a good one for you. It's my Thunderbird just nice. dancing in that wind, even in that corner. Forest. Try to go over some trees here. Yeah. John was going big sky, yeah. big sky option. It kind of, kind of got in there. But this is a great little pro shot for him. Nice. Well, I'm a little patent pending around some trees. So did it. Is that a four? It was a five. And that was a high right five out of me. Oh boy. So that brings us here. Hole 12, another par four, 701 foot. <laughs> uh, the pros do a big like turnover shot up to the top of this hill, kind of right here, so you can look down uh, and have a good sh like look or shot into the green here. Uh, we'll be lucky to get there in two shots and then throw down here. And we are going from the gold tee. And here is my attempt at an Anheuser release. Uh, spoiler alert, I'm bad at Anheuser releases. Uh, <laughs> it's not good. Oh, it's up. That is disgusting. It lands in not a great spot. It's not that gap in the woods straight in front of you. It's to the right. The one to the right of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah John, John didn't remember this hole. But uh, he's about to do great. He's about to do great things. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what he threw. I think it was his other ex gal. I don't know. Just yeah, so <laughs> we walk up assuming there was a short tee. That's great. We didn't find it. We have no idea where it was, so she just randomly threw. Um, but she's throwing good, you know. Not really two nose up. Uh, I'm just trying to lay up to that spot where the pros land, you know, in two shots, and I pretty much nail it. Yeah, that one, you know, was a little nose. Up. I mean, so new people throw nose up a lot, but. Honestly, you'll see some shots. She's pretty much crushing it. I don't know. 
coming out flat. Nice putt. Ish. I think she just kind of throws up. I don't know. I've been editing these videos and she throws pretty flat, honestly. Uh, not going to get a great angle here, but I actually lace this. Absolutely parked. Felt uh, really good. Now, you can't really see John's gap either, but he honestly annihilates a pretty amazing gap as well. Uh, if anything, he goes a little long, and I think he didn't have many options with the gap he was throwing through. So, if he was going to make the gap, he was going to go long. Uh, I tap in my par. It's a little high. It's a little nervous. John splashes in a great par save, I guess, because even his second shot was a little off. Anyway... This brings us to hole 13, 473 feet. It's a par 3. Uh, it's into this, like, shadowy area. Everyone always talks about how dark it is in here, and in real life, it is very dark. Uh, we are throwing from the gold tee to the gold basket, so going on a good streak here with a pro layout. We'll see how far we can get down here. Uh, I end up throwing driver? What should I throw, John? I don't know if I would throw something different. I don't know. Uh, putter? Joke? It's tough with downhill. <laughs> the downhill is gonna make a disc want to turn over a little bit more. Drivers fade out pretty hard. I don't know. But 473, you know, I, I don't know. I can't throw that. I don't know. So I throw my wraith. Is the point? It turns oh, not oh, enough. Oh no! Oh man, it was high. And then it fades oh, kind of early. Oh, I thought for sure it was gonna turn over more than that coming downhill. Great. John throws a less stable oh, driver. How does it not hook uh, up? Yeah, it just never comes out of well, this was a, a perfectly straight was flight. It's pretty amazing. What? Too bad it went into some trees. Yeah. Uh, but not the worst. And yeah, see, I don't know. I mean, that was a little nose up, I guess. But she's kind of throwing up, too. I don't know. Uh, we don't get to see this shot. Apologize. Great. That was awesome. I didn't film it, I just realized. We filmed our reaction to your shot. Huh? I said, I just realized I was pointing the camera at my face. <laughs> I, f I filmed my reaction to your shot, not your shot. <laughs> Look at these babies growing. Yeah. <laughs> Little baby trees. You can see some people up there, they had a cute dog with them. It's pretty good. See, like, pretty that wasn't very nose up at all. Like, that's pretty nasty. You find your disc, John? You get that later. Found a disc. Amaze. Uh, I highs it out down here oh, to the left. The blue one right here? You can just barely yeah, see probably. it. Yeah, probably. It is blue. Okay. Uh, now I see it. Okay. I believe in you, John. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Jolin. Approach shot. Forehand magic. Oh, a little bounce, a little roll right into the gully there. So this. Uh, Brace yourself. This is embarrassing. Bad treat. I don't even know if I want to explain what I was trying to do there. Because it's just going to make it worse. Yeah, there you go. See my pick up there. Just kind of squirt it up there. Whatever. Is it in it roll? <laughs> that uh, just disappears. Not. It's not as bad as it looked, though. Jolin for the par. Nope. Oh, no. Just off right. Basically out of his hands. Oh. It. It's the pole <laughs> rolls back. Questionable use Manage of the hands play. there. <laughs> uh a bogey. Chess with a cheeky double putt. The disc never lies. That was really good. This never lies, folks. Yeah. This never <laughs> lies. <laughs> you cheat. <laughs> Back at you. Oh, shoot. That's a camera putt for my bogey. Oh, right. Princess hole 14. We've been thinking about this one. This is a drone flight from the gold tee. 442 feet, par 3. Uh, we don't go from the gold. 
because you know that other hole was a big hike back uphill and I cut out the video because we were all breathing pretty hard. Unless you got a disc. Uh, we also already lost our disc, so our sacrificial disc in the front nine. So we decided to just Hi, buddy. go from the black diamond. So I'm kissing my Thunderbird goodbye, just in case, but honestly, it's pretty stable. I know if I just throw it straight, it's going to go left and be on the land, so as long as I don't throw it into the water, it should be good. And it is good, so Get it? there it is hooking up like wow. you know it's going to. A little long, because this is uh, 295, not the whatever 400 feet, so John and I both can get like at least 350. There. John was a little more nervous about it, so he gave it a lot yeah, more height, went way <laughs> left, but, you know, no lost disc. This guy here had a truckload of discs and scuba gear. Amazing friend of the show. I uh, decided to give the old assist and stand behind the basket just in case, but John, no problem there. Hi. Pretty good. I mean, it was easy to feel confident with John behind the basket, but uh, a lot of confidence. Uh, yeah, decent putt for a quote birdie on <laughs> Maple Hill. Uh, it's a short tee, but whatever. Only half And then we come to this uh, short hole, uh, hole 15, par three, 323 feet. It's a very narrow middle lane here, just all the way. Um, some pros throw that. Uh, there are others who throw this like overstable flex line to the right. And I was thinking I was gonna do that, but when I stood up here, like there isn't a gap there. I, I don't know what they are throwing at. Um, so I go with my heat, because I know it can flip up and should ride pretty straight. A little baby hyzer slips up, turns a little right, Get it. comes back left. Basically oh, annihilated the gap. Felt pretty good. John is electing to go to that right gap. Show me where it is. Show me where he's throwing. Over there, around trees. I mean, it works out great, but I was, I was too afraid when I sit up there. Just to see like that. Again, I think that's basically flat. I think she's just throwing up. You know? I don't know. Yeah. Ouch. She had her hand on the bush there. It sucks. But we'll have to take some slow mo videos of her in the field again. Because this shot, spoiler alert, she throws really well. See how it was nose down and flat? I don't know. They're all basically the same hole. I just feel like she's a lot better yeah, than she thinks he good, is. Actually. So yeah, see, John was just a little, I guess, short and left. I mean, I mean, it's pretty good. And he can make pots like that. He just didn't at that time, so definitely had a chance. Uh, these are putts that I can miss, so still questionable. It does drop, but you can see I paused there. I thought I threw it too high. Oh no! So that was a real life. Gold T birdie. I mean, it is the shortest hole, but hey. Uh, John, unfortunately, two putts, so he gets the bogey. Big birdie. Big birdie. Big birdie. Real. That was that was a pro birdie. Last one. That was nice. Last one was not. Yeah. yeah. See, I confess, even in the video. All right, the next hole. This is the famed KJ USA slip ace hole. Uh, hole 16, par three, 471 feet. Homeboy slipped, fell on his knee, splashed it in, everyone knows, and if you don't, you really missed out. Uh, it's a narrow gap, down the middle of the whole way. I mean, if you can get here, you're blessed. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to attempt to throw the same shot you would think, fresh in my mind. Heat, baby hyzer, flip up, straight, that I could execute twice in a row. No. Turned it over into the tree on the right. It's ugly. So, rest in peace, my pro career. John? 
Allen. Oh boy. Oh, he did it. He gets by the tree I hit, but there is out of bounds over there. Just fades out. You're safe. I don't safe. Know if <laughs> couldn't do it. Pretty steep highs angle. Uh, uh, I think that's what he was going for. I mean, it looked like he meant to do that. Just a little early release there. A little wrap around on the reach back. No big deal. Going easy on it. Is that a water? There's well, there's water. Uh, this is my second shot. See, I barely got anywhere. Uh, and the second shot was terrible as well. I hit a tree, so yeah. That is a great toss. Yeah, once again, just to do, you know, doing great. It's hard when I mean, it's our fourth time playing. I think uh, it's hard when your form isn't necessarily consistent. So it's hard to have like a theory of how your discs are going to fly if you throw it slightly different every time. John throws a great uh, turnover flex forehand. He's in the field. Okay. It does come back. You don't see it, but he's pretty good. He's actually long of the basket. Pretty impressive. I try to do the same thing, and it's just terrible. I'm gonna film this bad boy. <laughs> My fourth shot. So yikes! Double bogey coming up. So yes, this is what John got. He got way out. Amazing. Again, there's another putt that he's capable of making. Just missed. So I really, I really wanted to make this. Yeah, that's a double bogey, so essentially even pass three holes. Just immediately erased my two birdies. Asterix. Anyway. Hole, hole 17, I think. Yes, hole 17, <laughs> par 4, 652 feet. And we do go from the golds again. Um, we originally walked to the black diamond, but that tee shot is ugly. So it's like a big turnover if you go backhand or a humongous forehand to get over those trees to somewhere here. Then you're throwing uphill into the forest a bit. The basket is kind of up on these rocks, so it's dangerous to go long. And now you can really hear, hear, that, hear that wind. I mean, it's just ripping. It's been picking up as we've been playing. Um, yeah, just it's just blowing yeah. this forest. It's crazy. Nope. Huh. And John huh. just yanks it. I don't know, it might have just been in his head because he can totally throw the shot too, so. Go with my beaten wraith, hoping for a turnover. Oh, what uh, a kiss. I get it. I'm hoping for it to just flip. I just missed my wow. line. I, I was aiming somewhere in the distance down the middle, and I just threw it to the right of it. So it was almost exactly what I was trying to do. Just a little to the right. Got a nice kick off that tree, so there was some luck there. But So we missed John's second shot, I believe. That's his third shot, So because he was in just an ugly spot behind some trees. Leaned up against this tree, so it's kind of awkward. Oh and the trees in front of me are kind of in my way. I still threw it way too high, but I wasn't trying to get anywhere. I was just trying to get to where I should have been after a drive. Turnover AVR 3. Way too much turn, but I kick off a tree to the middle. Lots of tree love on this hole. John with his approach. And it's just butter. Super smooth. He's parked. So me, my goal here has always been to be under 18 over par. So I realized I was in a great spot. And I laid it up. I mean, you could also argue that I could have just ran, ran it because I had strokes to lose. But. And it's the final hole, hole 18. It's a par four, 652 feet, and it's uphill a lot of the way. Uh, you will see pros get to hear this little footbridge often, uh, throw a nice straight shot up there, so they can have a big forehand or turnover into this. It's actually an island green, so just after this rock wall here, you see that, that wood beam, that's where you're gonna get over. It's also just like a hill in front of the team, so it's yep. kind of just in your head. Is that 
you were winning those trees in the right. That was me. So I was asking if it was him or you know the wind. He says he missed his angle, and I believe him. I mean, he's not lying to me, but I also missed my angle. I was way too much hyzer for that wraith, so it never flipped, and I'm left. Jessica Allen. Kind of too bad. Oh, we are throwing from the golds here. If you, I mean, you can tell. Oh, dang it. Hi. Piece it together, but once she does, I think she's gonna be throwing really good. Cause that, I mean, it hits a tree, but that's like a great throw. Oh. Nice. She's just crushing it. So this whole time, we're not seeing me throw because I, I, I can't find my disc. And there's just this ocean of water. So I finally find it, and I am not going to stand in, like, ankle-deep water. So we have to put a little asterisk on my score here because I basically moved my disc, like, four feet. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, I would have had a clear throw where I was either. There was, like, a bush in the way. So it kept my feet dry and gave me an actual throw. Wind? Nervous? <laughs> this shot looked great, but it's out of bounds. He was actually short of the island. It looked perfect. He was just trying to get on. He didn't want to go over the other rock wall. I don't know. So yeah, I threw a Last, because I was a little upsetty spaghetti about losing mm. my disc for a bit and walking around all of creation. Oh no! Oh, am I so like way up there. Oh no! So yeah, our best guess is John's disc actually did not hit make the island. that wood beam and then bounced that because there's no way he was that short. But anyway, so you go from the drop zone right here. There's trees. And John can totally make that butt too, you know. So an absolute green light to run that. Uh, Jess also didn't make that, unfortunately. <laughs> But she does there. And Potty Man, so top, like the hardest putt. skill, with all that wind. Damn. Oh, he's for fun, just to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Friend Pot. Oh. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> <laughs> Ground thoughts? Any? Destroyed by that course. Destroyed. Well, and there you have it. Maple Hill. It was amazing. Check another one off the list. I uh, hope to come back. You know, maybe we'll film another round. I don't know. It was just the best day. It was great. Just some of our highlight moments here. You can see why it's the number one course. I don't even know if I want to explain what I was trying to do there. 